Good morning, Harding Middle School. It's Friday, April 9th, National Zoo Lovers Day. I'm Ava. Here are the Harding headlines. Mrs. Patton, charging Chromebooks, Chromebooks and testing, LHS Ranger and Flag, and Sock Drive. We begin today's broadcast with a visit from our assistant principal, Mrs. Patton. Good morning, Harding. I am here with some very important announcements. The first announcement I want to talk about is dress code. Now that we've made it to our warmer months, we really need to be paying attention to how we are dressing at school. I am going to go over the dress code with you. I'm not going to go over all of these things, but you need to know what is in our school dress code. This is for middle school and high school students. All clothing must be of appropriate size and fit neatly. Clothing that exposes undergarments or underwear is not permitted. Your clothing cannot expose a student's back, chest, or stomach while sitting or standing. Your shirt must be able to be tucked in. Tight-fitting bottoms, such as yoga pants and leggings, must be worn so that a garment on top covers your buttocks. All garment bottoms must be worn to one's true waist and must be mid, thigh, or longer. A good rule of thumb with that one is that should come down to at least the bottom of your fingertips when wearing shorts and skirts. Pajamas are not allowed at school. Sleeveless tops are permissible with straps that are at least two inches wide. That means no spaghetti strap tops. Clothing that has holes or shreds or is in disrepair is not permitted. This has been one of the most seen dress code violations so far this school year with the jeans that are ripped. They are not to be worn at school. Hats, head coverings, and hoods may not be worn inside the buildings uh, unless for religious purposes. So students, we have seen a lot of hats, a lot of beanies, a lot of hoods up. These are not permitted at school at any time. Also, sunglasses should not be worn inside the building. And I also want to pay attention to the last bullet on this, that anything that may cause a distraction to the educational process is deemed inappropriate by the administration is not permitted. Students, if you are out of dress code, you will be sent down to the main office. You will be asked, hopefully, to be able to change your clothes. If not, you will be asked to call home and get a pair of clothes brought to you at school. I want to make sure everybody is very clear on dress code again as we move towards warmer months. In addition to dress code, I also want to talk about cell phones. I know that you are carrying your cell phone on you. It should be in your backpack and it should be turned off and away. Cell phones should not be seen during the school day. They should not be out in the lunchroom, in study hall, in the hallways, or in the restrooms. Students, we're noticing that many of you are going into the restrooms in groups. Remember that it is three students per restroom at a time. Teachers are also noticing that students are going to the restroom for long periods of time. I have given all of your teachers permission at this point to put forth a cell phone policy plan along with their restroom plan. Your teachers may begin to ask you to leave your cell phone on your desk or on a back table in their room when using the restroom. So please, please, please make sure you are paying attention to these things at school so that we don't have any issues moving forward. Now, I want to get into the fun part of why I'm here, and that is golden tickets. So today, we have four winners. I have four gift cards for these four winners. Please come on down when you hear your name. Josh Jameson, Josh Gray, Peter Humphreys, and Emily Pavlovic. Congratulations, students. Keep earning those gold tickets. Back to you, Ava. Thank you, Mrs. Patton. Attention all students. It is your responsibility to have a fully charged Chromebook each morning. Please get in the habit of charging the Chromebook each night. You should not be charging your Chromebook in class or asking the LRC to charge it for you. There is a known issue with our Chromebooks regarding charging. If you plug in your Chromebook and it will not charge, hit the on-off button and, ref and the refresh button. That's the key with a circular arrow at the top. Make sure that your Chromebook is plugged into the charging unit connected to the outlet as you do this reboot. Attention all students, make sure that your Chromebook is in good working order and is updated to the latest version of Chrome. The operating system must be up to date for it to work properly for state testing. 
You need version 86 or higher. As you all know, go to the LRC if you have any questions or concerns about your Chromebook. We are assuming yours is fine for the state testing unless you make us aware. Attention all 8th graders, would you like to be a rangerette or a member of the Elite Flag team at Lakewood High School next year? Rangerette and clinic tryouts are April 16th or April 12th through April 16th from 6 to 7:30 p.m. And flag clinic and tryouts are April 19th, 19th through 22nd and 26th from 6 to 7:30 p.m. See our music teachers for more information. Attention all students, don't forget to donate socks to the sock drive through your ELA classes. Here's a look at today's walk home weather with Riley in our Cookie Seaver Weather Center. Does pineapple go on pizza? I say pineapple does not belong on a pizza. Today's walk home weather will be 69 degrees and partly sunny. Look for rain to move on this weekend. Fun fact, the light we are seeing in the North Star, Polaris, left that star in our year 1591. Hey Ava, do you like stargazing? Yes, I like looking at the night sky. Let's take a look at today's lunch. Taco turkey, carrots, pe pears, lettuce, shredded cheddar, whole grain tortilla, and milk. Now here's Mia with today's news slapper. Make us laugh, Mia. Good morning, Harding Middle School. Today's news slapper is, why did the M&M go to school? It wanted to be a smarty. Now that's a real news slapper. Back to the anchors. Remember to mask up and stay distanced. We're all in this together, Harding. This concludes your morning announcements, Rangers.